a heart of flesh reading from scripture Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26 I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh Ezekiel was a prophet who was called by God outside of Israel during the time of her captivity in Babylon he warns Israel about the impending judgment but he also reestablishes hope for the restoration of the nation god desired to take their heart of stone and instead give them a heart of flesh so that he could work his truth into them so that they would become pliable and teachable with new hearts come a transformation of the will and the spirit and also walking with god which the nation of israel really needed this picture that ezekiel gives is a picture of two hearts a heart of stone which represents a spiritual deadness or that which is dead to the voice of god or the heart of flesh which represents a heart that is spiritually active one that is sensitive to sin and grieves over that which offends the lord Now God promised the nation Israel that when they return to him when they love him when they obey him he would give them a heart of flesh Now just as much as this message was for the Jews this message is also for us today There is so much that can cause a hardened heart it can be bitterness or resentment that we feel towards someone in a situation it could be guilt or shame that we have as a result of our sin it could be selfishness or a need to control something that we have not got or it can be a sense of disappointment or hopelessness because of some answers that we have not received to prayer other times it could be wrong choices that hardens us or some wounds or afflictions that have been put upon us a hardened heart it is always cold and heavy So what is it that can change it to a heart of flesh? It is only God's work who can penetrate. It is only God who can penetrate to the hardness of our heart to make it like flesh, make it warm, make it active and tender. This is done only by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, who gently breaks down each one of our rebellious nature and rigidity. to mold and transform it to be like God's. So what are the privileges of a heart of flesh? It makes it tender to God's will. So our own selfish will bows down to the voice of the spirit, making it tender to what God wants us to do. The spirit makes itself resident in our heart of flesh and Jesus is honored here. Another benefit is that we receive every spiritual blessing when there is a tender heart it is also prepared to yield the fruit of the holy spirit a heart of flesh does not look for selfish glory but it looks for the glory of god so just like ezekiel tells the israelites in israel to repent and turn back to god is it a call for you and me as well to repent and turn away from our wicked ways so that he will give us a heart of flesh let's ask god to change our heart of stone into a heart of flesh let's pray together father god we thank you because you have promised to give us a heart of flesh when we turn to you when we look to you we ask for the power of the holy spirit to change us so that we will be tender to you and have a heart that is pliable and teachable in Jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org